The name of a second man associated with Sheikh Jassim's bid to buy Manchester United has been revealed. Sheikh Jassim is hoping to purchase 100% of the Old Trafford club from the Glazers, with reports claiming he could be granted exclusivity in the negotiation process being widely dismissed earlier on Thursday. British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe is also still in the running, although his offer would see him purchase 60% of the club allowing Joel and Avram Glazer to retain a 20% stake ahead of a phased departure. The news came just hours after Sheikh Jassim's 9-2 Holdings Limited was officially listed as a company in the UK. The company was incorporated by government agency Companies House on Thursday, June 15, with the Sheikh listed as one of two directors. Documents published on the Companies House website list Sheikh Jassim as an individual person with significant control of the company. He is listed as one of two directors, alongside Abdul Rahman Abdullah Al Ansari. Al Ansari's date of birth is listed as August 1991, making him 31. His service address is listed as the company's registered office of 10 Norwich Street, London. Companies House says all shares in the new UK company are owned by 92 Holdings LLC which was registered in Qatar in April. Al Ansari is listed as a director, while Sheikh Jassim will have significant control of the company. The listing confirms Sheikh Jassim was born in April 1982, making him 41 years old. He is said to be a lifelong United supporter and is the son of former Qatar Prime Minister Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabbar Al Thani. Al Thani received his education at the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, England, where he graduated as officer cadet. He presently holds the position of chairman of QIB, Qatar Islamic Bank one of the top banks in the nation that was founded in 1982.